Yo. What? Yo, what do frogs eat with their hamburgers? What? French flies. That's not funny, dude. My mom's a French fly. <laughs> what the fuck? That's fucked up. Take it back. Hi, I'm Chris. That's Crack. This is another episode of 4 Minute and 20 Second Film Reviews. Yes, sir. What do we watch? This week we watched Pay to Play, directed by Monty Davis Jr. and Jeffrey Hustleman. Uh, they sent this out to us. Um, it's like a screener of it, you know what I mean? Like, they, they haven't even released this shit yet, so they wanted uh, our opinion. So, yeah, man, shout out to y'all fellas. We appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, this one's for y'all. Yeah. All right, so we're going to start with the timer and do a film review. Um, Bong. What was it about? <clears throat> it's about this family. It's about this couple. Uh, it's Roger and Linda. It looked like it take place in the 90s a little bit because um, of like the clothes they're wearing and some other shit, some little hints that make it seem like it's a 90s type flick. Um, and basically, it, it shows the beginning, you know, it shows their pictures on the walls and shit, like, like their wedding pictures and just like a happy family type shit. And then... Um, like the opening scene is them, is him like the, the, the fucking husband posting fucking ads that look like on like Craigslist or Backpage, one of them shits. Talk about you wanna fuck my wife. Um, you know what I mean? Like pay to play type of shit, you know? Um, from there, a bunch of different um, characters, you know what I mean? Hit him up and they, they're meeting them at this, this little, this warehouse. It looked like a fucking dungeon. And uh, they're smashing right there. The dude has rules. He's like, you know, giving the rules and shit. And as it goes on, like, the dude's being, like, more and more lenient because he's like, you know what I mean? With the money, he's letting the dudes do extra shit. You know what I mean? One of the dudes is actually played by Marty. He had his uh, his cameo in there. It was pretty fresh. His, his part was, was dope. Um, he was like one of the Johns or whatever, one of the Custies. Uh, it was a scene where uh, after he fucked, he was like, he took the, the wife's panties and was walking out and he's like, I could give these back to you. Well, I could give you $80 to keep them. You know what I mean? It was mad funny. The dude paid $80 to keep the, the panties, you know what I mean? So at some point, the dude bugs out and ends up killing one of the Johns, yo, because he's having these fucking weird flashbacks of all these dudes fucking his wife. Ends up killing the wife too, taking her fucking skin, like cutting her fucking face off peeling that shit off, putting it on his face, and then going around and hitting up all the dudes that fucked her. I mean, having them come back, not knowing that she ain't there, and, uh, you know, fucking killing them and shit, you know what I mean? The cops get on his trail from there, you know what I mean? And it's basically, you know what I mean, the cops trying to find out who it is, and, and him basically killing all these dudes and shit, so that's how it plays out. Um, I don't want to go too far into it. Cause you know what I mean, I don't want to give away, I mean the movie ain't even out yet, so I don't want to give away a spoiler, but yeah. fresh, fresh. So uh, what'd you like about it? First and foremost, I like the music in the movie, yo. It was the first thing that, that really caught me. Even in the, the first scene and shit, it was like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, that really made it, like that really made it what it was. Um, there was like, oh, there was a dope scene where the dude just has like a nightmare. And shit, you know what I mean? And remember, uh, he was seeing his wife, like his dead wife, and like they were having like these these fucking like flashes of like the wife up close and the blood coming out of her mouth, and like the, this up like the even like when she was in the back, like there was at one point like her intestines were coming out. Yeah, it was like yeah, dude, it was real fucking gross. They had fucking like just the way they shot it. That that scene was really fucking dope, man. I really liked that a lot. Um, other than that, all the killings, man, how he was like, he was killing these people with hammers and shit, you know what I mean? The fact that he walked around with her fucking, yeah. her face on and shit, that shit was fresh. And there was actually a couple, like, little funny comments or whatever. What, what, what the, uh, he was going to the to the church, right, and, like, um, kind of, like, you know, going to the confessional, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, and, and, and confessing. And at one point when he leaves, he's like, the dude's like, uh, the, the priest like, keep it fleshy. Yeah, keep it fleshy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was mad weird. But uh, yeah, that shit was funny, yo. There was a couple little funny parts like that, but yeah. yeah. Other than that, just the killings, like they put a fucking crowbar through this dude, the back of this dude's head. I mean, they bang this dude out with a fucking uh, with a hammer. Like the hammer gets stuck in his head, and then he like pulls it out, yeah. blood spilling out his mouth. Like, yeah, I like shit like that, yo. That shit was fresh. Anything you didn't like? 
It wasn't much. The only thing I didn't like is is really the wigs, yo. Yeah, they were bad. The wigs were bad, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, Peggy Bundy. Yeah, she looked like Peggy Bundy. And the boss, his boss at work, had a brown beard and a gray wig. Yeah. Kind of goofy, but not a major dislike. But that's about it. Out of a possible 3.5, this one's getting a 3.2. You know what I mean? It was it was really good, and uh, I can't wait for this shit to come out. I'm gonna actually cop a copy of this myself, and uh, y'all should definitely watch this shit too. Pay to play, Monty Davis Jr., Jeffrey Hustleman. Good shit, fellas. Yeah, thanks for letting us watch it in there advance. Go. We always appreciate that. Oh, and yeah. this one was really good. I haven't been this excited about a movie in a while, and I've been following this as they've been making it, and they haven't really given me any details about it as they were making it. They didn't really give anybody any details. They just kept on popping up with teasers. It's like three of them on YouTube. Right. So uh, if you're not already subscribed to them on YouTube, I'll leave the link down the thing below, and you can check out the trailers. Oh yeah. And make sure you get into everything else they've done and save your money for a copy of this when it comes out. Yes, sir. Be good. Yeah, like, subscribe, share, all that shit. We'll catch y'all in a week, y'all. Yeah. Hey. Keep it fleshy. <laughs>